Hey, 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 it's your girl Evelyn and I am back with another video. Girl, listen, I don't even know exactly when you're going to see this video because there are so many videos that I have recorded and just have not edited before this one. So you might look up and be like, girl, you've been popping out the videos and just know <laughs> they've just been sitting inside my camera minding their magical video business. Anyway, I have a quick, I say quick, but y'all, you, you know I'm long-winded, okay? I have a quick little haul today. I, I, over time, have picked up some new lippies and I'm excited because these are two brands that I was unfamiliar with and I follow, oh, I can't remember her name, but if I can remember to put up her social media uh, her Instagram profile, I will put it up. If I if I don't remember to put it up on the screen, I'll at least link it in the description box. And one of them was for some sheer matte lip balms. What? Now y'all know I love a sheer lip. Like I like I just I don't know what it is about a sheer, slightly glossy, not so glossy that it looks like I'm slobbering on myself. Glossy that look is not for me. Right, but this just ever so slightly sheer wash of color excites me, okay? Now these are matte and I was intrigued by these because I have the NAR, I have two shades in the NARS um, matte lip balm and I really like them because they are, they are a balm and they're matte, but they're sheer, loved it. I was like, yes, right? And I hadn't really found a lot of brands that had a similar formula. So the name of the brand is Violet FR. Okay, so this is this is the box that it comes in. And I picked up three shades. Now, I don't know why this didn't register when I saw the FR. They they had to come from France. Okay, your girl is extra. They had to come from France. So here are the components. Super cute, very lightweight, so not as luxur luxurious like as far as weight is concerned, but very simple, cute packaging. And these are called the Bisu Balms Sheer Matte Lipstick. I picked up three shades, and I picked up the shade mm, Batiste, Bat Batiste, ooh child. You would think, because I took four years of French in high school and two, six, two years of French in college that I would have some level pronunciation. Alas, we are here. So that's the first shade. Uh, Suzette, I believe that's how this one is pronounced. And then the third one is Amorphe. Okay. Now what was strange about this order is one shade came by itself and then like a week later, the other two shades came even though I ordered them at the same time. I don't know what that was about and I was a little concerned because I live in Texas and we have been having a heat wave and I was like I hope they don't melt they did not but I will say it like as soon as I got the delivery notification I was at my mailbox and then I was putting them in the refrigerator to cool them off before I even used them now I will say this I wish they were still you know, as pretty as they were when I first got them. But I was like, I don't know when I'm going to film a video and I want to use them. So let me show you the first color, which is Batiste. So let me just, let me, let me do the old school YouTube um, uh, hand motion. So this is the, let me put it in front of my face. That's the color. It's kind of like a muted, rosy terracotta. I'm going to swatch it on my hand. Now, remember, these are sheer, so I don't know how much you're going to be able to see, but that is the color for that. This is but Batiste, B-E with an accent, T-I-S-E, Batez. I don't know, okay? And that's the bullet. I love these little, like, slanted bullets, and I will try these on, but I've got something else on right now. The second color that I want to show you is Suzette. Okay. This is like a pinky red. This is probably my favorite one out of the three. It matches my nail polish. <laughs> so let me swatch that one. So that's Suzette. Okay. So those are the two colors so far. And then the third one, 
which is a muffin. Now, let me tell you, let me, I'm going to swatch this. However, I was most excited about this color and most disappointed with this color. So, okay, this looks like a bright pinky red. Okay, I love a pinky red. And I, I love a pinky red, but I don't always want to wear a full on matte lipstick to get the pinky red. So I thought, oh, this would be perfect. That is that right there. Okay, so I enjoy these. However, what I realize is if your lips are the slightest bit dry, these will look a mess. Okay, so I eventually realized that in order for these to look good on my lips, I had to have on chapstick underneath this, right? Like I couldn't like put on a lip mask chapstick, wipe it off and then come in with these. Even though they are balmy, they are not like a lip balm, like moisturizing to the lips. It's weird because once they're on, they don't feel drying, but they also don't necessarily feel like, oh, I put on a lip balm that just happens to have color. It's it's an interesting combination so i am going to try those on for you but because the color that i have on is from the next three products i'm going to go through these and then i'll come back and i'll do swatches for all all six of these okay so those are the bisou balms from violette fr coming from france now these are from nabla cosmetics and i think these came from italy <laughs> I did not know that. Okay, these are, what does the box say? I kept the, the Beyond Jelly Sheer Supple Lipstick, okay? And first of all, I just wanna say, these are way bigger than I thought these were gonna be. These are bigger than a lipstick, okay? Like, as far as height, like, here's the Bisu Balm, and there's that. Let me see, let me see if I can find a traditional lipstick. Hold please. Okay, so here is a Lisa Eldridge lipstick. Here is the <laughs> Nabla Beyond Jelly sheer lipstick. So they are fairly large. I will say diameter is pretty much the same, but the height is like, wow. Okay, so when I got these, they had a very cute little imprint with the N on there. I, I don't already use that so let's start with this color this first color is called blooming okay um and it is like a orangey which i typically don't like but it's like an orangey red and that's what i have on today i have nothing else on but this do y'all see how pretty that is it's sheer but it's the color is nice I love it. Let me swatch it on my hand. I'm going to swatch on my right hand, which that's going to be real interesting. Okay. So this is the shade Blooming. Okay. So kind of like a orangey coral red. Okay. Love that. That's what I have on today. Okay. The second color is Libido. Okay. This is like, it's like a neutral, I don't know how to explain it. This is my grown woman shade. Like when I don't know what else to wear, I'll put this on. It's a very like neutral kind of dark rosy shade. Definitely more mature than blooming. Okay. So that's that shade right there. Easy every day kind of goes with anything kind of look. These do not have a magnetic closure. It's a snap closure, okay? These are weighty, okay? These are definitely weighty. Um, maybe not like as dense as this, cause like this, this feels like the same weight as this. It's just that this is bigger. So not as dense as like the Lisa Eldridge. Okay, and then the third shade is Red Sapphire. Y'all know I love a pinky red. I don't know if you can see this. This one has a little bit of the in, um, emblem still in it I don't know if you can see that anyway I've already used it but you can see there was an N in there okay cute matches my nail polish all right so let me swatch that you see that pinky red 
So three very distinctive colors for three very distinctive looks. Love that. I love the shape of the bullet. I love that they're sheer. I love that they're glossy, but not like in your face, ridiculous glossy. It's funny because you probably can get a feel for the type of lip colors that I like. I mean, I do like some neutrals. However, okay, so this is the shade that I have on. This is Blooming. So I don't need to lip swatch that. Let me take this off and I'm going to do these other two. And then I'll come back and I'll do the, um, the Bisou Balms from Violette France. Okay, so let's start with Libido. This is kind of this neutral shade. And you can actually build these up if you want more color. But I like them sheer. Like, it's just an easy, no-brainer color. Like, I don't have to think about it. Kind of goes with anything. Look at that. It don't necessarily go with this outfit, <laughs> but you see, it's like a, it's like a deep, it's like a dusty rose for dark skin, basically. And I love that for me. Okay. So this is the shade libido. So pretty. Okay. The next shade from the Nabla, what are these called again? <laughs> Beyond Jelly Sheer Lipsticks is, this is Red Sapphire. Oh, this is so, so pretty. See, just a little. You know, like when you want red, but you don't want like red. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I don't know what red is, but like when you just want like a little bit of color, but you don't want a full on like hey i'm headed to a cocktail party lip i just think it's a great sheer lip. it's just it's just wonderful i really really enjoy that so this is red sapphire now keep in mind i have um hyperpigmentation in my lips if you do not have that obviously this is going to read very differently so it looks a little purpley on the outside but that's because i have like gray <laughs> in my lips because Several years ago, I had some allergic reactions and it changed the pigmentation of my lips. And so here we are today. So red sapphire, but cute. Okay, so I have taken off the Nabla um, and I'm going to go with um, a more fu, right? Fu, F-O-U, fu, fu, child. This is the one where I was like, it's not really giving. However, I do have on chapstick because these need something to glide on. Okay. Like this one, I almost feel like you can't hardly see it. I mean, you can see it. But it's probably the sheerest thing. I have. I think if I didn't have hyperpigmented lips, you can see this better. And remember, these are matte, okay? And so it's still giving very much matte, even with the chapstick on. This is like, I thought about putting on a lip color, but I changed my mind. <laughs> I do feel like it gives a very like, no makeup makeup look for the lips. What do we think of this one? I like it. I've worn it with a um, a lip liner and it's been great. I've even worn it with, I think one of my previous videos, I talked about how I got the Hermes um, uh, lip oils. I've worn it with a little bit of that. I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose, but it works. Like, it's not bad. It just looks like, oh, you must have had on lipstick earlier in the day. <laughs> but I like the finish, okay? So now I'm going to try on... Batiste, Batez, Betis, Betis. I don't, child, again, this is that kind of like neutrally, 
This reminds me of the Nabla one, like this kind of neutral rosy. I really like this shade. You see, I really like this. Like, it like neutralizes the majority of the hyperpigmentation in my lips. I like this is a throw on a go. I look like I got a little something on, but I'm not look like I'm trying to do a lot. So if you're somebody who's not big into makeup, like I like, ah, uh, it it glides. Well, if you have chapstick on, let me tell you the way these things made on my lips look crusty without chapstick on underneath. The thing is, this is great if you're like a no makeup makeup kind of person. But then are you going to really order it from France if you're not really that into makeup? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I like it, though. Like, I would rock that today. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't necessarily go with this outfit. It does go with my eyeshadow, though. Hmm. I like it. It just makes the lips look so pouty, right? Like, pillowy, if you will. Just... I don't know. I like I like it. I don't have anything like this. This like this sheer matte, but it still does something for the face. Oh, sorry, my mirror is right here. Girl. So let's get into the last Bisou Balm from Violette France. And this is in Sucette. Love this Oh, I love this. Y'all. Like, this might shock you. Like, look. Look at that. Sheer. But, girl. It's just... It's sheer, but it's mad. Right? Like, if you work in an office, I, I feel like these are just like that great, it's not over top. I'm not coming at you. Like, not that you can't wear, you know, super glossy lips or not that you can't wear super matte lips. But if you're just like, I just want something nice, understated. If they had this in a color that was like more oral, a coral, peachy, deep orange. Look at that. So simple, so easy. So anyway, let me put, I'm going to put Blooming back on because this doesn't really go. <laughs> but this is Suzette. So pretty. Remember, I have hyperpigmentation around my lips. So probably more in the center is a more accurate color. Mm. I just, I love it. Okay, I'm going to finish up by putting Blooming on. The bullets are so soft, by the way. Look how that just glides on. Like, you don't even need a lot. Done. So anyway, y'all, um, I will link to all of these in the description bar below in case you're curious and checking them out. I did order them from overseas. <laughs> they are Lux, right? Because y'all know I love me some good luxury makeup. Um, I really enjoy them. I don't have anything else in my collection like these, so I'm excited to have them. I definitely would order more of these because I think this is like my favorite type of lip. I know Pat McGrath's um, Lip Divinals, very similar look and feel. These just had some different colors. Um, love the packaging. The packaging is giving Lux, right? So it's a whole experience. It's just that these are coming from Italy. Anyway, let me know. Are you a lippy girl? Are you a full matte, full gloss, super glossy, just chapstick, standard satin lipstick? Like, let me know what your favorite type of lip product is in the comments below and which one of these colors you think look best on me. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.